your design therapist. <laughs> design therapy. That's what we need. We need design therapists. Gary, you're saving marriages across the United States <laughs> and beyond. That's amazing. Hello. Uh, Welcome to Hi, Kali. Hi, Hi, Owen. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what time? It's design and color talk time, where design meets interiors, architecture, art, and color. And Kali. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> color needs to be spelled with a K now. Hello. <laughs> I'm Gary Cohn. I'm an architect, architectural designer, sorry, architectural designer, interior designer. And I have my office here in Dublin, Ireland. Um, soon to have an office in New York. Yay. And Gary uh, didn't tell me that. Oh my know, God. It's a secret. It's a secret. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. But I want people to know who you are. And Kali is a friend of mine. She's a spokesperson, a commercial actress, a nine to fiver, a mom, and a lifestyler. Lifestyler. You know, Gary had to think about that. Um, I am a lifestyler because as long as soon as you put yourself out there, like on social media, you tell people what you're doing, and it could be like like your work stuff, people are interested in your day to day. So you just by default become a lifestyler. So Gary, you're a lifestyler. We're all like if you do something online, you're a lifestyler because people are like, what is Gary like how did how does Gary brush his teeth? Uh, why did you choose that? You know, and I love that sweater, by the way. <laughs> why did you choose that sweater? Like people want to know everything about your life. So just big picture, lifestyler just means that people have had curiosity in me besides just what I put out there on social media. So. Very cool. Very cool. Now, Kali, let's go into the design stuff. Okay. okay. Kali uh, has been working on something and go ahead tell me what's going on so i have friends i have colleague co-worker friends you know how you work with people and they they know you 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 have maybe some insight in design or whatever so they've been asking me about you know um ai they've been asking me about okay i have this one um uh co-worker that is interested in updating their kitchen and i said you know what i've got a guy I got somebody that can help you. Um, but they're kind of hesitant because of the cost. You know, when think people think um, I'm going to, you know, hire a designer, they think like this high price tag, all of these like thoughts come up in their mind and they're thinking because we're more savvy now as humans, they can just go online, find, a, you know, upload their picture, go to AI and it just boom, it does it for them. And I'm trying to tell my client, my coworker, um, you know, it might make sense to even, you know, just get a designer, take it from like a more of a grassroots type of deal, get a human to help you, things like that. So I'm really curious on um, how you're looking at this, Gary, how you're seeing design. Um, and I would love to see maybe a project that you're working on as far as a kitchen and seeing, you know, how easy it is from your point of view and how important it is from your point of view. Are you working with AI? Are you working against AI? What does that look like? Because I know when people are talking to me, they have one concept of what's going on in the design space, but they're not designers, right? Oh, and how do you convince wow. those folks what's more important? Do you know what I'm saying? Just being able to click magic or get somebody that has done this, studied it, and it's more than just an art form. It's like a real deep science of understanding of, of space, so. Kali, that is so, so, so much. So first of all, what I wanna to say to you is, you have a lot of things going on there. So I wanna to get to show you things so I don't just ramble on. But first of all, you said, um, why, why a designer and the cost? I'm gonna tell you, I save so much money for people, yes, because when people hire me, the responsibility goes on to me and off of you. So I've had people call me a lot of times halfway into the project and their their marriage is on the brinks. <laughs> They're, I'm not joking. You could. I walk in and they are angry, angry. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, them showing me what's going on. Well, he wants that and she wants that, and then this, and then the builder is putting that up and this. And I'm walking in and I don't see any problems. I'm like, 
well, this is this is business as usual for me. And what's the problem mm -hmm. here? Well, what right. about this? I'm like, well, don't do that. Do this. Well, why is that work? Be and then I give them the reasons. So there's uh... all this stuff that I've been trained for so many years to do this, like going to a doctor, like, how do I make the surgery? You don't, I do. <laughs> I love that. You know what you are? You're like a mediator, especially if you have two people living in a space, they're going to fight. So not only are you a designer, you have the vision and the training, but you're the mediator. You know, you're that safe place that people can bounce ideas off of and not, you know, there's no, per there's no, you can't take it personal when somebody from the outside comes in to try to help you know, better the space. So absolutely, absolutely. And many times when I'm with a client, I always go, look, why can't you both have your cake and eat it? Who's oh, I love that. <laughs> and you see them look at each other. And, that. and like, but he wants black and I want white. I'm like, yeah, so we're going to have a, why can't I have black trim and some white pieces over here? And they can't, because they can't see the combination or the right combination. they don't have the vision that you do gary you're saving marriages across the united <laughs> states and beyond that's amazing but no but here's why they're fighting is because they can't make the decision he or she is up at night i gotta choose the tile the builder wants it tomorrow okay right. and i got i and i don't know which one to choose he's gonna be angry i chose the wrong one she's gonna be upset that i want the i'm like and I come in and they're like, well, we don't know. I'm like, it's this one. I'm like, but well, it's this one right here. Okay. You have, no, you are told, you are telling the truth. Gary, I actually have a friend and I just had, I, she built a house maybe two years ago. This is real story. I actually have a girlfriend. She's married. They have kids and they fought tooth and nail on everything in the house. And then she just like gave up and gave it to him. And then he gave up and gave it to hers. But anyways, the house is built. But you are telling the truth when you have two strong people with a strong idea of what's supposed to be what in a home as far as design and design is so personal. It's very you know? personal. So when I design and I hear this back and forth, I'm like, I'm not designing for you to look like Mary down the street or Joe up the boulevard. OK, okay. I'm yeah. doing it for you where I'm taking yep. your personal design and your personal design putting it together and creating love that. And then yeah. when they see that, they're like the, the comprehension, they're like, Oh, Oh yeah. And, and, and what happens often is like, as I'm going through the process with people, they're like, we'll just say, um, we'll create some names. We'll say Jane and Jack. Okay. So I'll go, Jane, I'd be agreeing with Jane. Right. And then also I'm sorry, Jane, but Jack's actually right with this one. And I have to go over here. So right. they really yeah. see me not favoring one or the other. And, right. and and they, so I know they're putting their little check marks in the head. Well, I got it. She didn't. I'm like, right. in my head, I really don't care. I'm just like, focused. <laughs> <laughs> my reputation is it, it has to be a beautiful design. Exactly. Jack or Jane. <laughs> okay, Gary, you know you, what you are. You're a design therapist. <laughs> design therapy that's what we need we need design therapists yeah, we need to be yeah, trained yeah. up on not only beautiful design <laughs> the science of it all but how to relate to just crazy different big personalities so you can come together with two things that are contrasting conflicting and create something absolutely beautiful design therapy there, there we go Kali. that's our next show on design <laughs> therapy <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be crying. Oh God, I can't figure out this. It's like, well, this is it. It's gonna be full of drama. Next, <laughs> if they're too dramatic, you gotta apply because you just can't be all outdoors crazy. You have to apply. You have to go through a cycle analysis. Yeah, I could go on. I got so. Or it could be tag team wrestling. Okay, your turn. I'm in. You're out. <laughs> I just had that conversation. Oh my God, yesterday. That's so funny about tag team. It's so important to tag. <laughs> I just let the fight go on. Sometimes you got to tag out, get your water. It's the, on the corner, you know, like Rocky and all that. It's just, you just got to tap out. All right, let's let's go in. And okay. um, so I'm going to show you a kitchen I designed and I'm going to show you the process that I go through. I'll go very quick. Wait, here, did you did you spell kitchen like that on purpose? Or oh, sorry, <laughs> it's the French way of spelling kitchen. Go ahead, say, say it again. Okay, hold on a second. K I T H E N. Yeah, I don't know why it's coming up like it's not spelled right, but it's spelled right. You got it. 
There it is. There's the kitchen. <laughs> and um, I like the silk in the in the background, Gary. Yeah. Is there a reason why you chose silk in the background of this presentation? Just to make it feel softer, a little bit more um, luxurious, and you kind of yeah. feel like, okay, what's happening? Um, if I did shards of glass, you'd be like, uh, "Are you going? What are you going to do now?" <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you want to hire him? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this podcast know. is over. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, I was thinking about breaking the glass ceiling, so maybe that's what it's representing. That's what I was thinking about when you oh, said shark. So this is oh, the wow. house right here, so you can see. And what we're doing here in this house is the kitchen is in, I'm going to show you some more of this, but I'm working on the kitchen here, and the kitchen goes all the way to this spot. What a nice, quaint house. I love it. It's almost like a greenhouse. I love it. Yeah, so the main house is here, and they built, someone built an addition, which I think they did, uh, it, it may have been good in the day, it's not good anymore, okay? Oh. <laughs> and I'm reworking it because they didn't work with the light and I'll show you. So that's what it looks like right now. Okay. Yep. And you're just like, eek, eek, what's with that that knotted pine? You just want to yeah. like, oh, everything and that yellow. And um, to be fair enough, this is a young couple and they um they just moved in. So a lot of the things that they have there, they're gonna get rid of. They just, that's why they did the right thing. They didn't get new furniture or anything. They waited till I was working on the design. So they're very smart. Yeah. Okay. 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 And they and they hired a designer. They didn't AI it themselves. Absolutely. <laughs> Eventually. So this is what it looks like, which I'm showing you. But the kitchen is back in that dark area. You see that? Yep. I see it. Uh -huh. Okay. And so you have this weird room. And then this behind the fireplace or this right here is... They put the um, laundry room, prime area, windows, they put the laundry, the laundry room. Yeah, I'm not understanding. And then Gary, is this like a second kitchen? Why is the kitchen on the addition? It's a second. Well, no, when they, um, when they added the addition, they put the kitchen in it, but it's, it's really poorly done. Okay. Oh, so, I see. I see. So, so the main so, house doesn't have a kitchen. Is that what you're saying? It did at one time, but when they bought the house, the person before them built this addition on and they move the kitchen up in. So if I go back, you could see this wall is where the main house, here, I'll go back here. Oh, I see the so green. This the is the main house. And I they see. added this piece on. I totally see. I see the green P wall, right? Like through the yeah, window. That's part of the old, that's the yep. outside of the old house. Yep. And you could see where the kitchen is sort of in there. Yep, it's it's there. In. So the kitchen sort oh. of half in, half out. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, okay, yeah. And that's what they did. It needs help. Oh yeah, it's spacious. And, and look at this. It's the dark. It's very dark in there. Yeah. You know, look at that. It's sort of like, and the best. Everyone wants to go over here, but they put the kitchen over there. And the laundry room wow. behind this, this piece of furniture here is blocking all the light. Yep. Okay. So. I got it. What I did was, first of all, I am um, going to show you some concepts. I wanted to show you that some concepts of the direction I would like them to go. So okay. I just want to show like lighting fixtures. This is like very broad when I go through people. Here's some lighting fixtures you like. Here's some other ones that are really pretty that feel will work with this concept I'm going for. These could work. And then I would show them different floors. Like I'm not sure. I'm trying to be get things out of them. Like, do you like the dark wood? Do you like the light? Right, right. Like herringbone. <clears throat> yep. um, I know in my head, I already designed it in my head, by the way, um, before I went to paper. Um, I just, I'm just very gifted of being able to mm -hmm. visualize. Mm -hmm. And then before I even go, I saw the beams. I know what I wanted to do. So I'd mm -hmm. like to have these beams when I open up the space. Mm -hmm. And I said, do you like the dark ones, the light ones? They don't understand me yet until I show mm -hmm. them some pictures. I like a, a window seat where that laundry room okay. is. Yeah. Out. Right. And that's where a window seat I'd like to go. I get it. Yep. Um, and then I'd like to have the kitchen come into that area. And I'd like to have a window behind everything like this. And then I'm showing I like the way the woods are dark and light going on here. With the, the kitchen. And so you're you're showing the the client all of these 
beautiful images and are you getting when you're going through this are you getting like ooh ah or like oh we don't like that like are you getting you're getting the feedback that you need real time absolutely they they don't know that i'm reading their body language mm. i'm reading their um their reaction to each other i'm mm -hmm. writing my notes down and then I will write a brief from this meeting and send it back to them so to make sure that I give it, I got it correct. You know what I mean? They love the direction I was going with the darks and the lights. Okay. Yep. Okay. And the woods are very nice. So they like, cause they wanted it modern, but they wanted it cozy and right. they wanted to have a, a, a longevity. So I said, let's, here's a, um, one that will the pantry, yep. which they wanted a pantry, by the way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So I show them ways that they can have the pantry where it's hidden. Yep. These nice doors. Oh, I love it. Because so you don't know what's behind there. It could be a whole thing. <laughs> it, could, it could actually be another room. You could like push it open and be another room. I love that. Absolutely, I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then I showed them, look, there's like the hidden door, which, so I gave them a lot of choices. Right. Okay. Um, and then I show them what it could look like when it opens up, you know, with the pantry. Um, I also wanted to hide the laundry room. So I said, look, one of these doors could go to the laundry room. One could go to the pantry. One could I go to, that. okay. And then um, utility is pantry. So I want to show when you're inside the, the laundry room, I uh, sorry, utility is laundry. So when I go into the laundry room, I wanted to show how I wanted the accessories to go in there. Yeah, or they, even the storage was awesome. That's and they great. wanted to be very eco-friendly as well. Cause mm -hmm. they said, I don't want to use my, um, my dryer all the time. Is there any way that I can hang oh. my clothes? So I gave them options of a bar that could, you know, when they're drying some of the clothes. Oh, above. I love that. And then they have these sort of ideas that they can have inside there for their laundry. And then I went into the house design. Okay. So I said, this is the way I want the space to look like. Remember where you saw the, all that yellow? Yes. Well, I want to take out the their current laundry room and open yep. up the whole thing so it has this sort of feeling. And I want that, which we saw already. And I'd like to have this for the window seat, something like this. Uh, I love it. Here is what it looks like. So you see here, uh, what, it, what it's showing you is, here is where they entered the kitchen before, okay? Yes, yep. And so what I did, it's right here. I'm sorry, you can't see it, but it's right here, okay? Mm -hmm. You see that? You close it off. You but I closed it off yep. and I have a wall here because this is a hallway. I want to see something. So I'll put a beautiful painting or something there. Okay. I gave them a herringbone floor and I put the window seat right here. That door is to the existing house off the kitchen. This is their hallway in their, in their house. Yes. Existing house. Got Okay. 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 And then, so what I did now is I created a laundry room here. There's yep. an exit out here. You can't see the door, but there's an exit there. Okay. Okay. So I can mm -hmm. go out to the yard. I can come in here. Okay. I have my hidden pantry here. Mm -hmm. I see it. I, I have my window seat here. I wanted all this glass and I wanted glass behind the kitchen here. I totally see it, Gary. And I see this. And before it was this horrible little kitchen over here, blocked all the light, had all that. And so that's kind of where I had to come back and rework that for them. Okay. I love it. I just don't understand. How do you get into the show that um plan again? How do you get into the the new layout how, from the main house? From the main house, where's the door? Oh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. So you see here, there's a door right here. There's a what you can't see is there's show, a door. show it to me on the plan. Show it to me right on the plan. Here, right here's a door. Ah, okay. 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 And that's just that that's connected to the house. There's obviously it has to be a hallway or something. There's a okay. hallway here. There's, there's more plan. I didn't show you. There's more going on back there. Okay. Yep. No, nope, I get it. Okay. Wow. So what I did was I opened up all that. Right. Instead of cut, cause it was only cut, it was cut because of the laundry room or something. Yeah. I but now you have that whole the wall of window. Yeah. Where the kitchen was. Yes. Yeah, so you see, you got, and I gave them a door so you don't have to come through the house with your dirty shoes. Cause that right. Gave them a wind, a seat for your shoes. I, I, I've been around moms okay, and dads, but uh, moms, you're very clear. <laughs> no, and it's funny. It's so funny you say that. House. <laughs> The first image of the existing house that you showed me, I noticed there were kids there right away. Yes, there, there was were. like a, a big connect for, for, I was like, uh-oh, there's kids involved. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's another level of complexity another for thought process when you have children. 
absolutely. So here's how it starts to look, you see? So I gave them all their, inf now this is me working out everything that they asked are requirements for their kitchen. So I gave them all this, I gave them their, um, they wanted their sink here, they wanted their, their um, stove here, okay? Um, now there's an extractor because it's an induction hub, induction stove. So the, yes. the air goes in, it goes into a filter so you don't need the big hood, hood anymore. I was going to ask, is it, it sounds kind of expensive to put the uh, the stovetop on an island. Do you know if it's but not? not, not it, it's comparable today because things are getting less expensive. Induction is being really uh, being done all over. And they have the vents going in because this is a problem that everyone has. So they invented it. They made it work. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> then what I did was put the sink over here, dishwasher and everything. Over here on this side, behind these are the refrigerator. The ovens are over here, some more storage. This is for glasses and pretty things because sort of a nightlight when you're coming around the corner, okay? Right, right. And then they had a coffee maker and everything they didn't like to see. So I created, you can't see here. Mm. There's some shelving on the that side so they can- oh. Oh, interesting. They could tuck it in. Yeah. Okay. And I think I see it peeking out. That's yeah. so funny. I think I see it peeking out. That's amazing. And then what I did I was I gave it a little shelf that it's go on the countertop that you pull out. So yep. you're not trying to pull the coffee maker out. It pulls out, <laughs> or you go like this, right. pulls out, coffee maker, make it, and you slide it in. That's so luxury. Oh my gosh, Gary. But these so are, cool. no, I th I'm going to say this. I I'm glad you said that. These are not luxury things. These are things that with good design has been thought out. The reason why you're considering it luxury is because people don't think of them and they get, they're like, they don't, they're stuck without it. It's like, it's right, not, right. And not have these things. I, I love that concept because you're just solving the small problems and it doesn't mean that it's luxury. You're solving something, you're using design to, to solve uh, an issue. You're tweaking you're just tweaking it's not all out of luxury but you're tweaking what could be better what could be better in a really in a really impactful way but it's kind of small but it's in such an impactful way of how we use everything in in our space absolutely and then when you see over here these hidden doors that's to the pantry oh there's the door going into the to the main house over here you can see it over there so do you get to open it you push it or something yeah it's just a, it's just a glass door because i wanted light to go into the hallway um so it's the rest of the house going in Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. And then you could see here that's looking out towards the backyard. Yeah, I have a child in behind me. But look, you see her? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was sneaking. She <laughs> stuck <laughs> under the bed so she didn't have Hello, to. Hello, uh... sweetheart. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Hi, Uncle Gary. <laughs> <laughs> That's Uncle Gary. <laughs> She's got a she. What? Okay, bye. So, so there you go, and there's the kitchen. You see how now I have the window. I opened it up, and there, there's looking out, and I give a nice light fixture. I'll show you that in a little bit. There's that, and there you see. There's your hidden pantry right here. I love it, Gary. And I give you a nice window seat. Um. There's your pantry when the door is open. See, there's the doorway into the house, to the main house. I love it. Yep. There's the door to the laundry room. Now the door is sliding open and we're in the laundry room. And look, I give you a seat to sit down, take your shoes and put up this all storage. So when, when we were designing this um, also, Kali, we had to do work on the colors of this. So mm -hmm. I was experimenting with like, neutrals and everything so here's like a, a beige version and then here's i did another version here okay and by the way this moves around so i could show you a little bit more if you want okay beautiful yep okay so um and then here is a dark version which is quite nice because it kind of sets it back a bit okay right. and then now were these was the, were your clients um in one accord when it came to colors or did they have opposite ideas of what the no they're the, very they were on mark with each other they're very very oh, they, they're compatible nice they were compatible with with it actually they were a very compatible couple i didn't have there were just slight things that were were off which i just i just let them talk um 
design therapy not needed. Okay. Yes, it, it, like you said, it'll work its way out. Okay. I know once I start showing them pretty things, it works its way out. <laughs> right, they just got on the same page. Like, okay, yeah, this will we'll go. Oh, I love that. I had I I didn't like the, if I'm honest, I didn't like the way the colors were working, because they were kind of like creating this sort of strange. Right. Backdrop. But I did like the way this was creating a nice block. Okay. Right. All right. And then that's that's kind of it. And then you could start to see how the whole thing works here, there. I kind of like how you wrap around like the bars, like you know how bars usually just one side, but you have like an L. Yeah. And it's more, you know, it's more like coffee bar like, you know, where you can yeah. talk and have a conversation and not just stare at the person making food, but <laughs> exactly. have a whole interaction. Yeah, and, and it's a big island on purpose. So you can have all this happening here. People are over here and there. I love it. And you can even, oh, can you even like, oh, it looks like almost like barn doors. Can you open up the glass to the- oh, Yeah, I, I took out the, in the rendering, sorry. I took out in the rendering the um the doors just so I could see inside, but they're regular sliding doors. Before I go on to the next part, what mm -hmm. I did do, Kali, was I did take the design and I said, all right, what would AI do? Okay, 